Okay, here we are, week four. There's not going to be any music in this one. So, sorry to the guy who likes the music. Oh, and huge. Happy? That's the best I can do. Sorry, but stick around. I need viewers, I need comments, all that stuff. Don't run off. Anyway, um, uh, I think it was 20 and 1 or 21 and 1. I can't remember which one exactly. I don't know exactly how many games I picked. Um, I don't have it all around me. But all I know is I was this one game from being perfect. And that game was USC Washington. And I called that USC Washington game. I said in week three, go back and check for yourself. Week three. That uh, that game would be won by Washington. But I changed my mind. I was like, no, USC. And I was like, but now I want to go back with Washington because starting quarterbacks hurt and superstar safeties hurt. What happens? They lose. They lose. And I called it and I didn't pick it. I should have went with my gut. Didn't do it. Oh, well. All right. Moving on to the picks. Um, things I want to talk about this week. First one. Number three, Alabama versus Arkansas. Or Arkansas at Alabama, excuse me. Alabama starts its march toward another SEC West title. Opening conference play against Arkansas. It'll be a battle of styles versus the Razorbacks. The Crimson Tide are ranked number three in the nation against defense. Or on defense, I'm sorry. The Arkansas Razorbacks are number two in offense. Uh, and they're led by the nation's top passer, Ryan Mallett. The transfer from Michigan. Okay. This game's going to be good. I think this game's going to be good. And it's going to be close. And even though Alabama's defense is very good, and Arkansas's defense looks not to be too good, I think it's going to get at, le at least, at least into the 20s. At least into the 20s. And it's going to be close in my opinion. I think uh, Arkansas may be a little bit tougher. If they had a decent defense, I'd look out for Arkansas. Uh, so... And now, basically, Alabama, they all they have to worry about is LSU to challenge them. Because, sure, they'll get a fight from Ole Miss. But Ole Miss, as you know, lost to South Carolina last night, Thursday. They lost to South Carolina, got upset. Oh, real quick side note, going off pace, but still, real, real quick side note. First time since 1990 that a top five team, top five team, has gone down in the first four weeks. Four top five teams down in four weeks. Four, four. You hear that? Four, four. Now, that's big. Four, four. That's big. So, uh, yeah. Um, look out to the top. Not only five teams, but ten teams. Um, so yeah, that's that's big. Anyway, so back to the Alabama Arkansas. It's gonna be uh, close. It'll be a good game. Watch it. But Alabama's gonna win. They're not gonna go down. They're not gonna be a top five team to go down this week. So uh, yeah. Uh, so Alabama beats Arkansas. Uh, now number six. California at Oregon. I'm not going to talk too much about this game. All i got to say is California, watch out. Watch out. This is a trap here. you got to be careful because you know what they're thinking about. Next week, USC. I mean, they don't like USC. No one in the Pac-10 likes USC. They don't. You know, they're tired of USC being on top, but after Washington beats USC, they're like, oh, we can get a piece of them now. We can do this. So I'd have to say... Watch out, California. Don't be going into Oregon like you're going to get a cakewalk because okay, Oregon started to turn it around. They're starting to turn it up a little bit after upsetting Utah. wasn't really an upset. I picked them to win too. But uh, anyway, I picked 
Oregon to beat Utah. Anyway, California needs to watch out. I think they're going to win this game, but, you know, just be careful. Watch out, because if they're, if they're looking past, they're looking past, Oregon come in there and take, take away that number six from them. So, watch out. So there's that. California beats Oregon. It's going to be close. Just watch out. All right. Now, uh, number five, Penn State versus Iowa. Last year, Iowa knocked out, or uh, Penn State beat them. And this let the Gators practically move up, beat Alabama, and then jump into um, the national championship. Thank God Penn State didn't get the national championship. Imagine what Oklahoma would have done to them. Oklahoma would have wiped the floor with Penn State. The Big Ten teams should be banned against national championships for the next five years. That's my opinion, and it's rude, but that's how I feel. Anyway, Penn State got upset by Iowa. Penn State, look out. You too. You're on upset alert. Watch out. I think, right now, here's my pick. Penn State will win this game, but it's going to be close. Because guess what? Most of your linebackers, your stars on your team, are injured. Your starter is out. Bowman is going to be back and playing, but who knows how well he's going to be after being gone for three weeks. You don't know. Watch out. Uh, you need to be careful, too. So that game is probably going to be a good one. And it's, I think it's going to come down to the fourth quarter, at least. If Penn State is able to pull away, it's going to be the fourth quarter. But that's another one. Be careful. And the last game, biggest game of the weekend, number nine in Miami at number 11, Virginia Tech. This, now Miami, I told you. Did I? No, I wasn't in time to pick the Miami Georgia Tech game, but I picked Miami to win, though. You didn't see that. I can't prove it, but I did. Um, Miami may be for real, like I discussed on the last one. I discussed that Miami may be for real. But look for them. Because they all the way to 9, that's a big jump from 20 to 9. That's, I mean, that's a big jump. But, I mean, if they can beat Virginia Tech this weekend, watch out Oklahoma. Because the game day will be there. That's going to be... It's going to be a huge game. So watch out. And let's hope. I'm picking Miami to win. So let's hope that Miami does win. And then we get a number, whatever number they're going to be. They'll probably be, they'll probably be almost in the top five. If Miami wins. And Oklahoma is already number 10. So that's 9-10 right there. So next week we may be getting a really good game out of Miami Oklahoma. And then the week after that, let's see Florida. Side point. Right here and now. So, um, this marquee matchup will take place in Blacksburg, as I just told you, where Miami faces Virginia Tech. It's the first time since 2005 that both teams were headed into the game ranked. Uh, Miami's averaging 35.5 points and leads the ACC with 465 yards of total offense per game. The Canes are looking for to win three consecutive games against top 25 opponents for the first time since 2001. Watch out. This game is going to be good. I pick Miami to win. But this game's going to be good. So uh, that's it. I'm making them quick. I gotta do the other things. Oh, Florida, they're gonna beat Kentucky. They're gonna go in Kentucky. They're gonna beat them. Still battling the flu a little bit. Um, some of the players are still out. Uh, Deion Thompson. Uh, I don't know whether he's gonna be playing or not. He's he's supposed to be one of our marquee receivers. So uh, later on in the season, I don't know if he's cleared yet or not. But uh, yeah, Florida's gonna win against Kentucky. Look out for those games I just told you about. And let's have another great week of college football because it's been good so far. So, uh, go Gators.